story highlights the power of social media, and that's just what law officers from around the world have gathered to learn right here in Omaha. Canadian police are now asking for help in identifying a man of, uh, accused of sexually abusing a three-year-old girl. Now, Chase Moffat continues our coverage, Six View Live, to explain how sites like Facebook and Twitter are helping. We're live here at a local coffee shop. It's a scene that's not unfamiliar. Get the laptop, break it out, have a cup of joe, and get on your Facebook page. Now, we want to show you how common, how powerful social networking can be. Obviously, yesterday, we posted this site on our WWT Facebook page of these two missing girls. They were found today. But within 24-hour period, you have over 2,600 shares of this post, and over 140 people liked that. Now, we have data that tells us that over 100,000 thousand people actually or Facebook users saw this post so whether or not people are liking or sharing the the post they are certainly putting their eyes on it and that is some very powerful information that Canadian officials want to put to good use the pictures are captured from a video in which a man is sexually abusing a little girl who only appears to be approximately three years old. In a room full of laptops and cell phones, webcams and video chats, it may not seem like the front line of the new age in crime fighting. It's believed that the abuse captured on this video was produced somewhere in North America and that the victim is likely between 10 and 12 years of age today. But it is. Canadian police are using the international platform of Social Media and Law Enforcement Conference hosted here in Omaha to launch an online campaign asking for posts and tweets to find a man wanted for being an alleged child predator. This is our best chance to identify uh, an online child sex predator that, that we've known about since 2005 and try and rescue the victim. Officer Scott Mills with the Toronto Police Service says law enforcement is still slowly but surely getting into the game of social networking. You have to think global and act local. Yet quickly realizing that it's not about the public doing their job for them, more like a fusion of valuable, far-reaching resources. We, we aren't asking the public to go out and be investigators and investigate things. What we're doing is asking them to help the investigators by sharing an image so that we can get the tip either directly to the police or anonymously to the crime stoppers. Now, last check, this suspect had not been identified. Here's another shot of the Facebook page where he was posted. They're looking for a very uh, uncommon mark, a unique mark on his arm. Again, he's a suspect in this case. We're going to post this information on our web channel as well. Hopefully, there'll be someone who knows something to solve this 2005 case of the suspected child molester. Reporting live with photographer Wayne Martino, I'm Chase Moffat, Channel 6 News. We are following local breaking news. Fire